Parker, you can't be serious about killing Luis to keep him from getting too close to Cher. He's living on the estate now. His demise could be tracked back to us. To you, you mean? Why don't we give my plan a shot first, so to speak? Sharon will go to the dance, where she'll meet men who keep her mind off Luis. Problem solved. No messy cleanup. Fine. We'll try it your way. But if Luis convinces Sheridan not to go out, I want you to dig deep to find a way to commit the perfect murder. Plot Luis's murder? That's a little extreme, even for you, Father. It won't be necessary if you get Sheridan involved with a man. Once her mind is on romance, Luis can't sweet-talk her into helping him connect his father's disappearance to our family. That's the beauty of my plan. Save your heart, Perbola, for the next bimbo you bed. I want a list of every eligible man that Sheridan meets at tonight's dance. And get Ivy to help you so you don't muck this up. What's that old tyrant one? <clears throat> Hello, Father. On the carpet again, are we, Julian? Ivy! Where are you? We need to get Sheridan and leave for the seascape. Father wants your help introducing her to some eligible men. Oh, let me guess. Alistair is worried that Luis and Sheridan will get close again, and it was your sophomoric idea to introduce her to yet another man. It's not sophomoric. Well, whatever it is, you're on your own. I'm not going to the 4th of July dance after all. Why the hell not? Where are you? I'm on a boat. Chaperoning the prom. Oh, tell me, you're joking. No, this is something I should have done years ago. Any tie between us broke the day you married Julian. No! You are out of my life. I want you to stay out. Ivy, where are you? Oh, that's Julian. He, he can't find us here together. I'm not hiding from Julian Crane. Chief Bennett, uh, he wouldn't by any chance know where my wife is. <laughs> She's right in there. Oh. What's Sam Bennett doing in here with you? Um, I was looking for the captain or something. I wasn't really paying attention. I've, I've been trying to reach Millicent to tell her that I, I can't make the dance after all. May I remind you that this dance is a very important Crane family affair? Well, then take one of your bimbos, Julian. Because I am staying here. The hill you are. We're getting off this ship of fools and we are going to the seascape. You can go to the dance, Julian. You can go to hell for all I care. I am not running out on Grace and the children. Fine. Then I'll drag you out. Oh, oh my! Let go of me, You Julian. can deny me your bet, but you won't deny me this. I could have sworn I came in the other way. <laughs> There's Grace Bennett's next-door neighbor. Why don't you ask her or her doll how to get off the boat? No. Father warned me to steer clear of her. As you well know, Father's not one to fear people. <laughs> well, Halister must be going senile if he's afraid of a harmless old woman and her cute little doll. Excuse me. Could you please tell my husband how to get off the boat? He's leaving. We both are. Just follow the signs to the end. Thank you. Thank God we finally found the right door. We can get off this tub. Wait, what's that? <laughs> we just left the dock. <laughs> Oops. I guess you're not going to be able to help Sheridan find a man at the dance after all. What will Alistair say when he finds out you failed him yet again? Shouldn't you be in the water with the other man-eaters? Don't be so grumpy, Julian. I'm sure you'll find some way to amuse yourself tonight. I 
scientist minds at that. 